Wonderful. How about yourself? Uh, yeah, I think it's it's good always to be versatile, um, but it's just a learning process, like learning uh, different variations of different positions and stuff. So it's cool. It's, uh, but I feel like the game's always evolving. The game's always a learning process. So just never being satisfied, never being complacent. So it's good. When did they first come in? Uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe a week and a half, a week, couple weeks ago. I'm bad on my timelines, yeah. but a couple weeks. So, I mean, when they do that, like just so early in the career, like, what's your reaction? Are you like, do, do you start doubting? Like, well, wait, he's not going to come quarterback anymore? Like, what, what goes through your head? No, uh, I don't think that's definitely not it. Because I mean, I still take reps at quarterback, so it's definitely not that. But it's more of like, um, my mindset is just you know whatever to help the team, um, to just you know be get, be able to get on the field, um, getting my feet wet. It's always a blessing in itself. So. Really just anything to help the team is kind of my mindset, the way I took it. Do you look at Taysom and kind of say, mm, maybe that's, like, do you start wondering if that's your future at all? Uh, do I start wondering if that's my future? Uh, no, I don't wonder if I'm, my future is like anybody else's, to be honest with you. But um, like I said, I mean, just whatever they tell me to do is my role. Um, whether it's they need me to play 10 snaps at quarterback, three snaps, and then go to one tight end and do this, that, the other, it doesn't matter. Just really just whatever to help. And then, you know, just keep working, obviously, at, Every position or quarterback, and whatever they do, you know, whatever they tell me to do, I'll do. Chris, what was it like getting your first NFL experience? They, they put the package in and went right to it. Right? Yeah, yeah, it was cool. Uh, you know, it, it's, it was fun to get out there. Like I said, just get the, my feet wet. Um, but I mean, uh, you know, it was exciting. It's exciting for it to really just to keep on keep on grinding uh, these coming up games and really just get on the field and. I guess just help the team out, you know, whether it's in third down situations, first down. I didn't time I got on the field, I try to be a playmaker, so. Starting to read the side of the end, so you gave it up? Or? What'd you see? Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I didn't see that. I was watching the ball. You know, we all know how to lose. Yeah, yeah, So, no, I seen, I seen two, I seen two outside. Uh, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, you're good. So, I seen, I seen two outside, uh, and then I, I just handed the ball. Um, but, you know, that happens in football, you know, good plays, defense wins, offense wins. Thank part you of the game. Know you ready to go, though, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm ready to go, man. <laughs> I'll be ready to go next time, for sure. From a preparation standpoint, I mean, how much do you think that it helps? I mean, you, you see the offense from the quarterback's point of view, and then you're stepping over and you're looking at it from a different point of view. I mean, how do you think that helps in terms of getting prepared for that? Offense? Yeah, I think it helps. Um, I mean, and, and I've talked with Coach about it as well. I mean, just, I mean, you look at guys like Tannehill who, and, and I don't want to speak on anybody, but, you know, played receiver and, and played receiver before, and then it helped him out, and obviously doing tremendous as a quarterback here in the NFL. So um, I think it's helped. It's helped in, like, just widen my perspective. It's helped me just have a bigger view of the, the field on what everybody's doing, what assignments everybody has. So um, it, it's helped out just my overall perspective of the game um, from an offensive standpoint especially. So it's been good. Mm -hmm. Like why you're doing something? Do you feel like that is an example? Like what you're talking about is that an example of kind of what he says? I think it's a prime example of what he says. I just you know like, or right, why is this receiver being here at this point in time? And you know you actually get out there and you run a route and then okay you understand like this is why and then um, yeah it just helps out. I mean it helps out when I'm playing quarterback um, and then obviously when they, if they ask me to go out there and run a flat route or whatever they ask me to do, it helps me understand like obviously because I know the quarterback's timing from that standpoint. So it helps out in all, in all aspects, all phases. What point in the process did you realize that the Falcons or anybody might be using you in that type of role and splitting out wide? Is that something people talk to you about in the draft process? Or? Never. No? No. So what, at what point did Arthur, when did Arthur first mention that, oh, by the way, uh, talk about this? Yeah, no. Um, and I've always been a team first guy, so it's never been a question to be like, hey, like I don't think Felipe will do this or not. But uh, I, I would say like a, maybe a couple weeks ago or so, um, came to me with the idea, obviously. And then, you know, I'm going to go 100, 110%, 100% um, at whatever they ask me to do. And so, I mean, I'm, I'm super optimistic guy. Um, and then whether it's quarterback, I'm going to game at quarterback, tight end, special teams, kick returner, you know, whatever they ask me to do, I'll do it to the best of my ability. So. Was your, was your first thought... Oh yeah, absolutely. I can't wait. Or was your first thought, okay, let me think. Look, how is this going to work? I mean, did you have to? How long did the process take to get to? Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think it was definitely not a, like let me think about if I'm going to do this or not. It definitely wasn't that. No, but it was more of like, uh, 
like, let me figure out ways. Like, my brother plays tight end, so, um, I mean, just leading up to the game, I'm asking him tips. And so, uh, just really just, okay, how am I going to learn this and how am I going to do it, obviously, to the caliber that I need to do it to get my job done. So, that was more my mindset. And then, uh, obviously, like, putting the work in in a short amount of time to get the job done was really the most important thing. So, that was kind of my mindset, the way I took it. Uh, no, yeah, you're good. Uh, so, I mean, just really just speed off the ball. Um, I mean, there was times I was kind of, like, hesitant, but, you know, he's helped me out a lot tremendously in my career, just mentally. So, it was good just to hear him, obviously. Like, he's played at the highest level. He's going to his fourth year. So, um, just to hear him kind of, like, give me a little pointers, like, speed off the ball and, and, you know, never stop running your feet, things like that that I've never had to worry about. But it's been it's been cool learning it. Did he look at, did he look at the tape after the game and send you, send you cut-ups or anything? <laughs> Uh, no, nah, I mean, and I only had the one clip uh, of the blocking, but uh, no, nah, he said it was okay. I thought I did all right. I mean, there's always obviously room to improve, but yeah, there was it was okay. I was so it was good. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you.